Morning, Chevy. It's a good day, isn't it? The sun's up, the sun's shining. It's gonna be great. And good morning to you. It is gonna be a good day. We're loaded up, we're strapped down. We're ready to go. We're gonna bring this home. You wanna see what it is? You wanna see what it is? Wham! We've got three dump buckets. Is that what you call them, dump buckets? As far as I know, they're going to Saskatoon, but I'm bringing them to Winnipeg. So let's get going. Thanks for helping me tie that down, Chevy. It's a lot easier to do it with two people, you know? Appreciate all the help. So that took exactly 56 minutes when we started loading to when I finished tying down, got back in the truck here, according to my clock. 56 minutes, just about an hour. So now I'm gonna take the paperwork, I'm gonna scan it into an app called Transflow. We're gonna send that into the office. They're gonna send it into Customs, make sure that Customs is expecting me when I get there, because I hate arriving there as a surprise. I don't like surprising them. They really don't like it, I don't like it, no one likes it. It's not a good day for anybody. They're gonna let me let them know that I'm coming and let me know when they know that I'm coming so that I know that they know that I know that they know that I'm coming so that everybody is on the same page that I am coming to the border to cross back into Canada with this freight in this truck. Once all that is sorted out, we can show up, smile, they can say, have a good day, and then they can let me into Canada. I'm just bringing these into Winnipeg, or up to our yard anyway. I'm hoping to get home tonight yet. It'll be pretty late, so I gotta get this paperwork sent in and get on the road. Canadian border, Chevy. You excited? You excited? We going home? Yeah? You've had enough of the road? Yeah? 
I've just stopped here on a pullout right before we get to the border, get all my paperwork in order, and I'll uh, make sure that I'm all ready to cross. Got to make sure all the information they're going to ask is at the front of my brain. You know, when did I cross into the U.S.? How long have I been gone? Where did I go? Where did I pick up? What did I haul down? What do I got coming back up? You know, stuff like that. They don't ask those questions every time. Sometimes it's different, but uh, best be prepared because you don't want to be sitting there at the window looking like you're, you know, lost and confused. When they ask you, where'd you go? You don't want to be like, uh... Uh, where did I go? Uh, what did you haul down? Um, uh, just looks suspicious. You don't want to look suspicious at customs. Trucker Josh advice for you. That one's free. Chevy, you ready to go home? You already asked me that, dear. Are you ready? I'm ready. So this pullout here is actually a historic site. The plaque is right back here. The first church in the northwest stood about 300 feet east of this marker. It was founded in 1818 by Father Joseph de Molin along with a school and cemetery. The site was abandoned after the boundary survey and was not used until 1848. Father Belcourt, North Dakota's pioneer priest, rebuilt the mission which stood until 1863 when it was destroyed by cannon fire from Hatch's battalion. The mission was later transferred to Pembina. The cemetery was not moved. Here is where they, and here where they were buried, hidden by the years of progress, still lie the remains of North Dakota's earliest pioneers. If you look right down over there, off in the distance, there's the cemetery of the first pioneers in North Dakota. Pretty cool, eh? What do you think, Chevy? Pretty neat. History's fun. And now just to clean out the truck. Just need to clean out a few things, not everything. I'll be going out again in a few days. So in the next couple of days, I'll probably be here at the shop again. Maybe now I'll get, this week I'll get the chance to you know, wash it and detail it. Didn't get that chance last week, but I'm not gonna hold my breath and count on it because there's a lot that needs my attention at home. Speaking of that, let's hurry up and get out of here so we can go back and check on Britt and Theo. How was it, Chevy? Do you have fun? Was it a fun trip? 
Yeah. <laughs> I had fun. It was nice having you with me. I'm sure you're ready to go home now, though, right? You want to go home? You want to see Diesel? And Frankie? And Wiener? And Mom? And Theo? Do you miss Theo? You miss the baby? You miss the baby? Me too, bud. Me too. Thank you.